Hello, so we're starting um, our Homestuck adventure again, and John, little John Egbert is here, his arms getting thrown all over the flow. I'm loving this, so I hope you guys are too. Okay, you catch lug four nails into the top card and push all the artifacts down a card. The fake arms are pushed entirely out of the deck. <gasps> oh well, they're probably completely useless anyway, but you probably don't want to do that again, unless you want to drop the smoke pellets and suffer the consequences. In any case, you now feel like you have gathered enough things to get down to business and defeat the Huns. Then they send me daughters when I ask for- Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm still tired. Okay. Uh, get. Okay. Gathered enough things to get down to business and do some really important stuff. The next thing you do will probably be exceptionally meaningful. Squawk like an imbecile and shit on your desk. Yes. Okay. This is the dumbest idea you've had in weeks. Stupid, stupid, stupid. And yet the Paul's surface. Surface, <laughs> yet the polished surface of your desk, it beckons. Combine nails and hammers. Okay. You merge the top two cards. The hammer and nails are now catalogued on the top, on no, no, on the same cards and can be used together. Okay, that's cool. Use hammer nails and posters. Okay. You use the hammer and nails card in conjunction with the card beneath it. Okay. Draw a nail post through the wall. Woo. Uh, oh, that didn't do anything? Okay. Um. Scroll down. Okay. We have a wall. <gasps> Little monsters! I love them! If you don't know that movie, go on Netflix right now and watch that movie. I love that movie so much. I love the guy who made this. Who made this? Oh my god. Oh, this looks cool. That looks like a cool game. Suburb. Okay. <laughs> Little monsters. I love that movie. That was an awesome movie. This monster dude, the one who looks like the pierced dude, that like the pierced guy, oh, on like. Uh, Ripley's believe it or not, that's like little monsters. Yeah, I used to probably sound crazy. Okay, you use the hammer, nails, and poster on the blank space on the wall. It's glorious, exactly what you wanted. The old man really came through this time. My dad never got me a little monsters poster. Huh. Examine Con Air poster. Okay. <gasps> Is that Nicholas Cage? Woo! Put the bunny back in the box. I said, put the bunny back in the box. Why couldn't you put the bunny back in the box? I don't know if that's Nicolas Cage, but I think that's how he'd talk. But deep impact. <laughs> Morgan Freeman's genteel homespun mannerisms were perfect qualities for the president residing over a crisis. Oceans rise, cities fall, hopes arise. Wow. Films about in pending apocalypse apocalypses fascinate you. Plus, a black president? Now you've seen everything. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's so... Okay. April 13th. It's your birthday. It's He's a nerd, because we saw this poster earlier, and now it's on his calendar. He's my brother. He's my brother. He got a true nerd. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm so tired right now. You probably sound crazy. Okay. You've marked your birthday, the 13th of April. Another day you marked was supposed to be the arrival date for the highly touted, tooted, suburb beta launch. It's been three days already. It's starting to become a sore subject with you. Eat cake. You are sick of to death of cake. You've been eating it all day. How can you be sick of cake? I love cake. Cake is love. Cake is life. <sighs> <laughs> You've been eating cake all day, and you have no intention of clogging 
your Siladex with it either. The cake stays put for now. You hear a notice from your computer. Someone is messaging you. Oh, look, Mr. Popular. Examine incoming message. <laughs> what is this? System. Typhius. Pester chum. <laughs> PFF dot. Up thing cake. Fuck, fuck, fuck cake. <laughs> ah, 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 ATF. <laughs> What's this? Wait, is that from... I feel like that's from, like, uh, uh, Ghostbusters, but probably isn't, and I'm probably stupid. <laughs> you pull up your computer. This is where you spend most of your time. You decorated your laptop with some rather handsome wallpaper, which you made yourself. You are really proud of it, okay? Your desk is also littered with various programming project files. You are so bad at programming, sometimes you wonder why you even bother with it. You, your pester child application is flash, flashing. Someone is trying to get in touch with you. Open pester chum. Only one of your chums is logged in. He sent you a message. Wait, pester chum. Who's in? Turtle, tur turn, tech, godhead, tentacle, wait, tentacle therapist? That's me, tentacle therapist. Okay, so Turn Tech Godhead says, uh, began pestering. Acto, hey, so what's, so what sort of insane loot did you rake in today? Some show pester log, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Hey, so what sort of insane loot did you rake in today? I got a little monsters poster. It's so awesome. I'm going to watch it all. The, I'm going to watch it again today. The apple juice scene was so funny. Yes, the apple juice scene. <laughs> oh hell, that is such a coincidence. I just found an an unopened container of apple juice in my closet. It is a like fucking Christmas up in here. You are 13. Watch your language, young man. Oh, that fine but I just have one question and then a word of caution have you ever seen a movie called Little Monsters starring Howie, Howie Mandel and Fred Savage but the seal on the bottle is unbroken are you suggesting someone put piss in my apple juice at the factory all I'm saying is don't you think monster Howie Mandel has the power to do something as simple as reseal a bottle okay try using your brain dumb nuts okay <laughs> okay, I'm sick. <laughs> Why did the fat kid or whoever drank it know what piss tasted like? I mean, his reaction was nigh and in, in in this seat. Okay. It was the 15th day in a row Howie Mandel peed in his shoes. Okay, I can accept that. Monster B-list celebrity douchebags are cunning and persistent prankers. I, uh, wait, uh, wait, cutting and persistent pranksters. Also, Fred Savage has a really punchable face, but who cares about this? Let's stop talking about it. Did you get the beta yet? No, did you? Man, I got two copies already, but I don't care. I'm not going to play it or anything. That game sounds boring. Did you see how it got slammed in Game Bro? Game Bro is a joke, and we both know it. Yeah. Why don't you go check your mail? Maybe it's there now. All right. So, I'm going to stop this video with little John looking out the window, wondering if his husband will come back from the wall. But so, a lot of mention of little monsters in this, which I loved. The apple juice scene was hilarious. And um, TJ seems cool. Seems a little bit of a douchebag. Kind of needs to watch language. He's only 13. But yeah, other than that, it's pretty awesome. So, we leave little John here, waiting for his video game. And, well, bye. See you next time with our Homestuck Journey. Bye.